never do it. What's up, everybody? Justin here, and well, you know, you see these boxes advertised all the time on Instagram, Facebook, you see all the YouTubers doing the mystery tackle box or lucky tackle box challenge. And well, you know, I've never gotten one of these subscription boxes and you know, I've been curious, are they worth the money that you pay for them? Two, do they give you good lures that you know are gonna catch fish? And three, are they good for the fishing industry? Um, I'm not sure if I'll answer all three of those questions in this video, but you know, I would like to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comments on those three things and let me know what you think. Um, I'm gonna do a quick little unboxing. This is actually the Mystery Tackle Box Elite Box. So this is the expensive one. Uh, I'm not sure what I paid for it. I used one of the uh, coupon codes, I think from SB or Guggen, Guggen Baits or Guggen Squad guys. Um, so let's get into checking this box out. So first things first, as you can see on the box, they do this catch and win contest where you actually use the box to measure the fish. Um, I think they basically give away more boxes to guys that win it. Uh, let's see, catch fish, use only one of the baits in this box. Measure using the ruler below. Share the picture of your fish on Instagram using the uh, hashtag MTB Keeper. Uh, for a chance to win a great prize, for full contest details, visit mysterytacklebox.com forward slash keeper. So, yeah. So, the keeper requirements, uh, basically for panfish, got to be a 6-inch fish, trout 12, bass 14, walleye 16, everything else 18. Pretty low bar. Even for us up north, that's a pretty low bar to get. So... Let's go ahead and let's dive into the box and what's in it. Now, this can be kind of interesting. Um, you know, in the fishing industry, I've done just about everything from the guy dipping minnows to the guy working on the charter boats to the guy buying a tackle for the stores, pl planning uh, the floor plans in the stores, and now I'm actually a sales rep in the fishing tackle industry. So I've literally wore many, many hats. So this can be interesting to see just what I think about this box. First off, decal of some sort. Not sure what it is. Looks cool. I'm sure it goes to something maybe in this box. Uh, next up, they have add to your box contest. Get a MTB slam for a chance to win a $100 account credit. Um, share, pick your MTB box and win $40. Review baits and win. Win some fantastic fishing prizes just for reviewing the baits in this month's box. This month, we're picking five more winners to win one of these awesome prizes. Maybe I can win another uh, box here. So, on the back side, they got a list of what's in here. There's a Weston Swim Bait, which they say costs $13.99. High Seas Grand Slam Braid for $13.99. A Lucky Craft. Ooh. LC 1.5 SSR, it's $13 bait. Owner twist lock jig hooks for eight. I hope that's more than a couple baits or a couple jigs. Uh, bio bait leeches, and we'll see what that's about. Catchco spinner bait, that's $6. That's their house brand. Uh, Riot baits, Banton for $4.99. And Excite bakes, the Pegasus for $1.79. So that's what's in this box. Let's see what that stuff looks like. Uh, we got the Dibble Tips Tricks from MTB. A little crossword puzzle. Uh, when should I expect bass to spawn in my area? They're saying for us, May, June, which is pretty much dead on. Um, just some tips on how to fish different stuff in the box, I'm guessing. So first up I'm gonna reach to is the Catch Co. Spinnerbait. A little chartreuse and white, gold and silver. 
It's a 3 8 ounce spinner bait. Maybe a smidge lighter than that. It's got a mustad hook on it. Pretty basic spinner bait. The willow leaves are a little flat. Um, so they're definitely a lower grade spinner bait. They're not worth or Lakeland or even the ones that Hagen's offers on their components. But you do got, looks like a uh, ball bearing uh, swivel on the back. So that's good. Paint job looks good. Skirt looks pretty decent. It's about right. You know, it's a four or $5 spinner bait, give or take. Uh, Pegasus pegs. All oh, these are uh, just for pegging weights. So cool. I need more of those. What size are those? Mm, they don't say. They're just weight stops. So that's for flipping and pitching, Texas rigging, stuff like that. Uh, we got Lucky Craft crankbait. Very, very clear bait. Uh, this is Clear Flake Flake Rayburn Red Craw. That might be a good one out here in St. Clair. Looking forward to trying that one in a couple weeks when we get rid of the rest of the ice. The Weston Swim Bait. Let's check this thing out. I'm intrigued by this. This looks like some of those wood baits that you would see um, musky guys throwing. But this is actually plastic. So, you know, you know, I remember that 40 inch pipe quest thing I was doing last year? I'm going to start that back up. I might have to try that for that and see if these guys like that. Um, so yeah, got that guy. Go back in. Ah, almost hooked me. Almost hooked me. But it looks like a decent bait. Um, if you're not familiar with Weston, uh, Weston is a company based out of the European market. Um, looks like they're trying to come into the States. So it should be interesting. To see how they do and this is a pretty nice looking bait really good quality looking so we'll see how it fishes uh high seas grand slam braid uh it's made out of spectra fiber so they're using the same same type of fiber that uh power pro uses brand wise the the honeywell or the dupont spectra braid uh, doesn't mean they're using the same exact formula though. So take a look at this braid. It doesn't say what carrier it is. It was a four and eight carrier. So might need to look that up online and see. Uh, back of the box, tell me anything. Oh, made in US, yada, yada, yada. Let's take a look at this. Um, this honestly does not have a coating on it at all. And it feels like it might be a little bit old. Maybe it's just the way that their formula looks uh, looks and feels like. But it looks like a four carrier braid just by eyeballing it. I'm sure it will do a fine job for anybody um, for braid. It is, what pound is this? So it's 15 pounds. So good general purpose bass line. It's, they call it a four pound diameter. This is more like six pound diameter um, just by feel. Uh, but it's braid. We all need more braid, right? So what else we got here? Cast with confidence, bio bait. Let's take a look at this thing. I gotta open this one up. It's made in the US, bio bait, new patented formula, tear resistant, unrivaled scent, never dries out, infused with fish oil. So if you're allergic to fish, don't touch this. Let alone, why are you fishing if you're allergic to fish? Oh, let's see. All right. Yeah. It'll work. It'll, it'll fish well on a drop shot or something. Um, that's about all I would use that for. It honestly smells like WD-40. The old stuff. Or uh, like those krill pills. Kind of like that stuff. Um, okay. Doesn't really flip my trigger, really. Um... Maybe you guys in Minnesota, Wisconsin, fishing leeches for uh, walleye, that might be something. I mean, this is a bass box. Eh, it'll drop shot, but that's about it. Uh, we got the owner jig rig. Oh, I've been wanting to get myself a few of these to try. Um, especially with the Tokyo rig coming out. This is kind of the same thing in a way. Um, you take a piece of plastic 
put it onto the uh, screw lock and you basically rig it weedless and you attach to the eye here and this just pulls it down through the cover and you can almost like shake it like you would on a drop shot and that hook would be above it so it's kind of kind of like a tokyo rig in a way um tokyo rig is going to give you you know about four inches off the bottom this will give you pretty much an inch off the bottom but oh, what's weight on these is four odd hook lead quarter ounce so i might try these around the docks um, out here on st Clair for largies or pitch into the break walls or maybe on one of the inland lakes here in a week or two once uh things clear up and next up we got the riot baits what color is this doesn't say tournament proven lures proudly made in u.s born from the bogs bayous rivers basins natural lakes and dammed impoundments only thing he didn't say was i'm born from a pond sorry john b no more pond fish for you if you're fishing riot baits uh entice big bass tournament proven riot baits are owned by hardworking americans are probably made in u.s so not too familiar with riot baits quite honestly um let's see smells all right this looks like yep yeah, this is a wacky rig type bait um it's interesting three little segments could almost like pinch this off and use it as a ned rig type deal um but yeah that's gonna move pretty good no scent on it just straight plastic it looks like a uh watermelon smoke purple kind of deal um decent amount in the bag so i mean there's one two three four five six seven eight nine there's ten in there so you know most most soft plastics are going to come between 6 and 12 baits, 8 and 10 being the most common that you see in most bags. So what do they say this retails for? Uh, $5. So yeah, decent price. I'll probably try that on a wacky rig here um, once we get into the 40s and the water temps. Maybe, maybe around some docks or some weeds or whatnot. We'll give them a try. So... Yeah. So, what do I think of the Mystery Tackle Box Elite Box? This box is how I'm going to form my opinion. Quite honestly, um, there's only three things in here that really caught my attention and kind of got me excited that at least got them in the box. One being the Lucky Craft Bait. May not be the color I would pick, but I'm going to try it. Uh, the Weston. Uh, this is a glass. Well, this is kind of awkward. File corrupted. I really don't remember what I said. Uh, I did say that I'm looking forward to trying the Weston for Northern Pike. Overall, box is eh. It's all right, I guess. Um, maybe I'll wait one more box and see if I like it. Hey, did you guys notice in the video of my new uh, sweatshirt? You haven't seen me in a blue one of this shade. Um, cool part is it's got, see if I can turn my arm enough. It's got happy casting. And then the other sleeve's got tight lines. So that's the new uh, premium hoodie. It's a little lighter than the other one, um, but I am digging it. I got another color coming. It just didn't show up on time. Got my new hat from Hooked and Tagged. Um, check out those guys at hookedandtagged.com. Uh, if you want to pick up some of my merch, click up above for that so let me know what you think about this video down below in the comments let me know if you want me to do more of them maybe do a follow-up when the next month's box shows up and maybe i'll answer those three questions i uh, asked at the beginning of this video in that video so thanks for tuning in guys tight lines happy casting and we'll see you on the next video if you decide to drop your buckets where you are and develop your gifts, I grant you, you'll never ever be without. I grant you that your gifts will take you places that will literally amaze you.